Well, Dave, out of the three boats we've looked at, when it comes to size, this one's the queen of the fleet, the 34 Cobia. It is, but you know what? Either end of the spectrum, we've seen the hardcore Dusky, and we've seen the very luxurious Belzona, but if you want to blend those two together, it's the Cobia. It's not just strictly a center console set up for hardcore fishing. You can have some creature comforts in this boat. Well, let's go through some of the features of this boat that kind of set it apart so people can get an idea of maybe this is the best boat for them. Why don't we start at the transom? Two huge oversized live wells. You know me, it's the heart and soul of any Florida fishing boat. I can't get enough live well. Right, but then right forward of that, you've got the fold down seat that you see in a lot of boats now. So that way those long runs home are keeping the family happy. It's a nice feature to have. It's a great place to do it, but look how much room there is in the cockpit. I mean, this boat is a big, roomy, beefy boat. Well, it doesn't surprise me. It comes from Maverick Boat Company. Maverick, Hughes, Pathfinder, those names are synonymous with hardcore fishing. This boat was de designed by fishermen, but they wanted it to be comfortable too for the family. Well, Rick, some other features that the Cobia has, we've got a side entry door here. For diving or for pulling a big fish in, it makes access to the water really, really easy. And then in the, in the floor, you've got two big, giant insulated fish boxes. Well, taken from a short guy trying to get over the transom of a boat, that door really makes it easy. But you know, Dave, we haven't even talked about how far T-tops have evolved. Look at this thing. I mean, not only can you store every rod in the world here, you've got handrails here. You're always going to be out of the rain. You can enclose yourself in eyes and glass. This thing is absolutely state of the art. Look at how much more spread you get if you run your outriggers out of here. Well, what I like about a fiberglass hard top too, you're never going to have to replace this. Canvas, you know, if you get three years out of a canvas top, you've done pretty well. Plus, like you said, the outriggers are mounted there, LED lights are mounted there, your speakers. It's just a good place to mount your accessories, but it does offer protection too. Dave, I tell you what Cobia did. They addressed one of my pet peeves. I can't stand a beautiful boat like this with a cooler slamming back and forth every time you get in rough weather. Well, if you lift this up, your cooler's built in here, your sink's built in there, and then you've got all your tackle drawers, so everything is right here where you need it. I tell you what I'd do with this cooler is I'd put ice in the bottom of it and slide a tray in it. That's where my baits would stay. I can't stand bait trays sliding around in a boat. And it's right where you need it to be, where all the action takes place right here in the cockpit. Well, Rick, you know, I built boats for a lot of years, and I know how important it is to maintain your boat once you bought it. Access to your systems is very important. In this Cobia, you have access to all your pumps and your sea chest down here, and this whole back end flips up so you can get to your bilge area. Oh, wow. Can you get your fuel filters there? I have more trouble with clogged fuel filters than anything else. They're right here and they're easily accessible. Dave, this console is gorgeous. It's state of the art. The screens light up like nobody's business. You mind tell me where the on and off knob is? All right, what you're looking at, it's an aviation style dash. Everything's touchscreen and it's customizable for what you want. You want your charts on this side. You want your depth finder on this side. You can set it up however you want, whether it's daytime, nighttime, and whatever you want to see in front of you. Gosh, how did the guys navigate going in and out of the Bahamas before we had screens to show us the route through. An old piece of paper chart and a compass. Woo! Tough way to go. Rick, on this Cobia 344, we're talking about blending fishing and fun. They've done a great job on this console. Under here, you have a marine head, a sink. You've got a berth that'll sleep too, and there's even rod storage built underneath the berth. So it's got a berth and rod storage down there. Yeah, and it's huge. Yeah, all your electronic switches are down there. There's storage. You've got two easy steps to get down inside the console. So on a nice night, could you overnight in this boat? Easily. Rick, this Cobia 344, it's a fishing boat that hasn't forgot the family. You've got a lot of seating up here with the Chase Lounge. You have the U-shaped seating up here in the front for the family. Let me tell you, my daughter would flip over that. She grew up on the laying in front of the old center console. What a great place for the kids to sit. There's one more innovation that you haven't seen yet. Dave, you know, I really feel like I'm growing, Dave. I'm getting taller in this business all the time. <laughs> You're standing on a platform oh, that actually oh, comes out of the me? floor. No, <laughs> the platform becomes a casting deck, mm -hmm. or it'll go all the way up to make a cocktail table. Well, listen, Shorty, I think that's an excellent innovation, and I'm going to have that installed on all the boats. <laughs>